Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to have a look at Miro, we're going to have a look at Fig Jam, and we're going to figure out which is the best virtual whiteboard collaborator. So, without further ado, let's check them out. So, my initial impression on Miro is pretty good. I like the layout. Um, I find the controls quite functioning. The right click on your mouse actually allows you to navigate while the left click acts as the selection. And on the left hand side, you've got your toolbar going down here. You've got tons of templates that you can use. There are really tons of templates. You can actually even search by name, category or even company and um, you know once you go in and you actually choose one of these templates you can just click on use and it jumps in here and it's fully customizable so you can really go ahead and customize absolutely everything you can see over here it gives you a roundup of what elements are within your design and here you can control how this actually works one of the features when clicking on one of your elements is this Miro Assist. Here we can summarize, you can ask a question about this, and let's say perhaps we are adding a sticky note here. Now we add a sticky note over here and I'm going to type in first idea. Now when I am done with this I can actually change a bunch of elements within here. I can use this Miro Assist to fix grammar and spelling, shorten, rewrite, change the tone, translate to another language. There's a few options. I can generate an image from there. I can add similar sticky notes, summarize, and then I can just ask random open questions. So there's quite a bit to actually do here. And if you go and click on professional, this wording first idea, it actually changes to initial concept. So if you're trying to keep a certain tone while building your board it's absolutely fantastic now let's jump over to fig jam and fig jam initially also a nice layout um, a little bit less intuitive you have to change from the select tool to the move tool which i think can sort of be you know um a little bit difficult or, or in the beginning to try and navigate between these two but that's fine once you get used to it it's fantastic again with all the elements you can completely customize everything you also have an ai um, bot that is assisting you so you can generate different ideas you can change these ideas here you can um, on the right hand side it's got a general ai tab and here you can let's say perhaps um, generate a board that gives you video ideas for a YouTube channel focused on environmental education. So this will now generate a template and you can again fully customize the template. So we've got this right over here and it will completely customize absolutely everything. So we can go into each individual piece over here and we can actually go and customize what it says how it moves what it looks like and we can further use that AI assistant to generate more content fig jam also has a ton of templates they also have a bunch of plugins and widgets. So if you right click on your board you can actually see all of your plugins over here which is fantastic We've got some widgets as well, as well as those templates that you can go ahead and use. Now, I think this is fantastic because, again, you can implement a, a bunch of other tools here within FigJam. Now, the same goes for Miro. If you go down to your left-hand side over here and you go to More Apps, you can also add a few apps over here. They don't have as many apps um, as what FigJam has but they do still have a fair amount, which gives you quite a bit of creative freedom. Let's have a look at some of the pricing here. Now, Miro does offer a free plan. If you just scroll down here, you will see that the free plan offers you a few items. However, if you're wanting to upgrade, the first payment will be $8 a month. And as you can see here, in comparison, you get quite a few more items. Looking at the pricing for FigJam, you can see also that they offer a free plan and this is free forever. However, it is with a few limited features. If you're wanting to upgrade, it's $15 
and you can see that you get quite a bit more now comparing Miro and um, having a look at Fig Jam I love Fig Jam it is wonderful however Miro speaks to me it's more visually appealing and I feel as if it is easier to use now let us know what you think in the comment section below and we'll see you next time